Yannick, good to catch up. This is the first time we've spoken since uh, you signed that new deal in January. Mm -hmm. um, why did you want to stay here for longer? Um, well, uh, I really like it here, so I think that's the easy um, question. Uh, I came here because I knew the Gaffa and Perks, obviously, and um, in my time here, I've really um, started to like the club, the area, the people, and the team. That's the most important, the teammates, I think. And um, yeah, so for me, it was, um, yeah, I really wanted to stay, and uh, I'm happy I did. Have you really settled here? Have your family settled? Because uh, obviously, you've You've been all over the place, <laughs> you know, your family, are they settling down in Exeter? Yeah, I've been uh, quite a few places, yeah. <laughs> don't think my wife is really happy with that, but uh, no, we've settled down. Um, the kids are going to school, they got friends, and I walked up on the school uh, yard the other day, and my son said, can we stay here until year six, maybe? I really like it, so uh, I think I have to stay for a very long time here, <laughs> as he's in year two now, no, but it's, uh, yeah, the, my family likes it there, it's, uh, it's a really nice area, so it's so, um, yeah, it's nice here. I guess that's a discussion you can take in to the management now. Say, you know, you might not want me, but the son, my son wants to stay, so you've got me. Yeah, I think <laughs> I might need to, like, uh, get him into the academy here. So they, uh, it's a package deal now. So <laughs> they stay, I stay. <laughs> <laughs> and how have you been finding the football? Of course, you've such a competitive squad these days. Gary's been utilising you off the bench over the last few matches to try and make an impact. Are you really enjoying being part of this squad, especially now that form's turned around slightly? Yeah, obviously I'm a little disappointed that I'm not starting. You want to play every game, um, but I know with the competition we have now, um, the, the, um, the run of games we've been in where everyone has been playing really good, it's hard to get in the team. So uh, I know how it works in football. I just need to make sure I show it when I come on um, and train, train hard every day. Uh, so uh, And hopefully when my chance uh, comes, then uh, I have to take it. Uh, but it's really enjoyable. I said, you see the level of training is like so much higher. It's uh, it's nice that we can we have so many plays because before we couldn't even feel like a bench, and now we have six people missing out. It's just such a um, big difference. But um, as I said, it's really enjoyable seeing the um, seeing how the yeah the momentum have changed, the um, atmosphere around the club, the city, and everything. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can uh, continue this, but uh, yeah, with more uh, starting uh, uh, games for me. Do you feel like you're all bouncing off each other and almost forcing each other to, you know, impro not improve, but to, to have higher standards of, it, of one another? Yeah, you come in training, you see the level is so high. Everyone knows, um, the, the manager says, like, uh, we need everyone uh, at any point. If you're not playing, you get your chance, you need to take it because people are waiting um, to get the chance. And if they take it, you know, it's theirs. So I think everyone uh, knows that. And that's why the level in training has been high. Um, it's been the highest since I've been here. So that's really good, but it's also good because everyone is evolving into a better player, the standards are getting higher, um, so it's more enjoyable because you just see the quality at training and it makes it uh, good for everyone to be involved, I think, you know. Just reflecting on Tuesday now, obviously we're all disappointed with the result, but I think a sign of how things have changed is that after that defeat, the whole mood around the place, the fans, the players, the staff, we didn't seem too down or disheartened by it and it, and it felt more of a blip than, than mm. anything too concerning. Yeah, because it helps that we have a couple that we had good results the last few weeks. Uh, if this was in the run before Christmas, then uh, everyone would be yeah in terrible. Uh, uh, they would feel terrible, but now we see it's a really good team. We have to respect that. Uh, we weren't good enough on uh, on Tuesday, so we just have to um, see um, on the clips what we've done wrong, um, train hard and uh, make sure we prepare for Saturday to bounce back. Obviously three away wins in a row going into this one at Lincoln. There must be a real confidence that we can make it for. That's not been done since 2016. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, obviously we're confident uh, seeing how we're playing and the results, but uh, it's confidence. Uh, we were confident on Tuesday and it go didn't go our way. So it's uh, we respect the opponent. We uh, have to make sure we analyze them uh, properly and um, get the get best game plan out uh, to get the win. Um, so we, it's going to be a very difficult game, um, but we have had some success on the road and that should give us some form of yeah, confidence, as you said, and hopefully we can get the three points there as well. But 
all the away, away, uh, uh, away games are difficult, and, um, but we would not prepare any different to get the three points there. What do you think it comes down to that you know we, we've been so good on the road recently? Is is it a fact? Is it the fact that we're perhaps going there with less expectation, or we've got more freedom to play? Uh, I think it's a bit of both. Um, maybe people look at us at the table and they're like, "Ah, oh, they're lower than us or around," and they be like, "Not maybe not much much of a threat." And then if you see us play and like um, dominating games, especially in the first half, maybe they're a bit shocked or taken away and. I think we've been competing really well. Um, it's harder to score, and now we're scoring. So it's um, yeah, it's it's. I don't know what it actually is, but it's. I'm happy we've been on this uh, good run, and hopefully it continues very long time. Um, but as I said, we have to take every game uh, by game, and it's going to be a very difficult game on on uh, Saturday again. But uh, yeah, we're going to do everything to win that.